Engineers were back out on Cambria Drive in Williamson County today, taking a closer look at the cave found underneath the road. The county says a cave collapse formed a large hole, revealing a 200 foot cave. Three homes sit on top of it. KV's Rebecca Trejo talked to a geologist about how an opening like this happens. Jay Banner remembers the first time he scaled a cave. It's not a good place to learn. Since scaling the devil sinkhole in Hill Country, he's learned a lot. How many caves there are in Texas? The estimate is 3,000. 3,000, and this cave just opened up underneath homes on Cambria Drive and Brushy Creek. So how did this hole in the road happen? Banner says it could be a number of reasons. One possibility? That the process of forming the cave has basically created a large void. And if that large void is really close to the surface, as opposed to if that here's the surface and we're 100 feet down, that cave's not going to be that big of a factor. But if that cave is forming really close to the surface, then there's just a thin layer of support between the surface and the void underneath. Banner says caves form here because Central Texas sits on a layer of limestone called the Edwards Aquifer. So the combination of rain with carbon dioxide released from soils makes for a, a solution that can dissolve limestone. And if you dissolve enough limestone, you make you start out making a small pore. If you make a pore that's big enough for a person to fit in, then you've made a cave. Could what happened on Cambria Drive happen elsewhere in central Texas? Banner says any karst or cavernous terrain has a possibility of forming more openings. Either through human activity or through natural processes. But he says it's a small chance. Rebecca Trejo, KVU News. Just fascinating, too, how this case continues to change. Williamson County says the Cambria Drive cave was a closed cave. There were no openings where people could reach it. The county also says a geotechnical report is completed for infrastructure and roadways. Homeowners have an HOA meeting tomorrow night at 630.